Can you? Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see your beautiful face. And yours as well. Oh my goodness, I saw an interview you and you were wearing like this phenomenal blue eyeshadow. Oh. It was just gorgeous and you were talking about Caribbean women and supporting each other and going out. It was such a good interview, Althea. Thank you. Um, so happy Black History Month, um, Minister. Happy History Month, Day. To see you. It's so good to see you too. Um, and I have a few questions because I know that you're really, really busy. And, gotcha. and so we'll just jump into it. Let me turn off this thing. Can you believe that we don't get to like, celebrate together this year and sing together like we did last year? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm on, I'm on WebEx. You need to get here now. Anyways, goodbye. You need to get here. <laughs> One thing, give me two seconds. Absolutely. Making sure my phone is off. All right, my lovely lady, let's get the party started. Okay, dokie. Okay, so I have just a few questions here for you, um, for my audience. And so it starts out with your first question, Minister. It says, yes. how are you using the theme of Black History Month to uplift Black women and Indigenous women? Thank you so much, Althea. Happy Black History Month. And with that, I'll actually, I'm in Treaty 6 territory today. I'm in Edmonton. And to, you know, I've been, I've had the blessing of meeting with many elders over my lifetime as a politician. And the, the thought of always starting an interview in a moment in a good way is about not only acknowledging the land, but the people of that land. And so um, Alberta's Treaty 6, 7, and 8 territory. So thank you to my First Nations, First People, brother and sisters for sharing this beautiful land with me. I always feel so privileged because they were here for thousands of years before us, you know, dancing, playing, working. And uh, and then to my Métis brothers and sisters right across the province, thank you so much for sharing the importance of this land. And so I, I'm i just so honored, always so humbled <laughs> to, be able to, to be able to share that and to be able to acknowledge our wisdom keepers and knowledge keepers and the storytellers, right? Yes. Yeah. So on that note, um, the... The entire idea of upliftment is something that lives within women. It is something that I think is visceral. It's how we live our lives. It's how we raise our children and our families. And what we do, I think, inherently, naturally, is be able to look at something else and be able to find its strengths. And that's what this month is about. It's actually really, honestly, I'll say it's a jumping off point. Black History Month isn't just about Black history. It's about our shared history with the amazing black people that came here, and especially those that came as slaves from Oklahoma and Texas and tilled this hard, hard earth here. 